First up, figs. There's an old story that this fruit wouldn't exist without a peculiar relationship with a flying insect. Good morning, how can I help? Hello there. There was sort of a myth I was always told, but has there ever been a wasp inside my fig? Have you got a fig with a wasp in or...? Um, no, but I've heard that um, in order to get a fig, there has to be a wasp at some point nearby. Right, it's not something I'm aware of. Sorry, what do you mean, a wasp? You, you know, like a, a wasp. I know what wasps are. Yeah. Yeah. But not in a fig? No. It sounds a bit bonkers, doesn't it? It does sound a little bit bonkers, yeah. If I find a little wasp, I'll let you know. All right, you please do. Thank you. Bye. Bye. To find out whether a wasp's got anything to do with a fig, I've come to Aden in Western Turkey, one of the world's biggest fig producers. And to help me figure it out, I've called in Professor Yugen Askoy, a specialist in organic fruit production. Lovely to meet you. Me too. Where are we going? Now we're going to the market to see the figs. Oh, market. I and love then the market. to the orchard. So these were the figs here? Yes. Are these ones all right to eat? No, they are not edible. It's uh, the male fig fruit. Right. And the edible one is the female fruit. There's both boys and girls? Yes. So these guys here selling the male figs, uh, who are they selling to? They sell to the fig farmers. So can we buy some of these? Yes, we can. Can, we, uh, can, we, can I buy some? It has a lovely goodness. These figs may be inedible, but these insects seem to like them. Thank you very much. But why on earth are fig farmers buying figs from the market? We head for the hills in search of an orchard and some answers. Figs have been grown since 9000 BC and are one of mankind's oldest fruits. The warm climate in Western Turkey is well suited for fig trees and the region now produces 700 tonnes of figs every day. That's beautiful, isn't it? And figs have got a very strong association with the Middle East and the Mediterranean, haven't they? Sure, yes. Because you use fig the leaves. Bean Instead of bikinis, you use yes, fig leaves, don't yes. you? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the orchard's planted with row on row of fig trees, but they're all female. The only male specimens round here are this lot. So what's happening here then, Professor? Uh, these are male fig fruit. So the ones I've bought, the same the yeah. ones? Yeah. OK. And as you can see, there are many wasps. I spent years studying insects, but hadn't realised these little black fellas are the fig wasps. Clearly not your typical black and yellow jobs. And there are many more inside. So the wasps are actually inside the yes. figs? See, there is an eye, and from the eye, these small wasps come out. Look at that. Inside, there are brown males and black females, each with a specific job. These are the males. And that's a female. The male wasps just do the simple stuff. They do a very holy job. They help the female to get out and they also fertilise the female for the next, next generation. generations. So they live in the dark, don't have any wings, got to dig a whopping great hole to let the girls out, mate once and die. Yes. That is a rubbish life. Yeah, unfortunately. <laughs> Bagged up, the male figs full of wasps are hung in the female fig trees. Basically, once I've finished this, I'm just going to put a fairy on top as well. <laughs> The male wasps never leave, but the pregnant females crawl out desperate to lay their eggs somewhere. They're drawn to the fresh female figs growing all around them. That little black yes. speck, that's a female going in. Once the female wasp gets into the female fig, she lays her eggs? No, the only function is to pollinate. So the figs that we eat, they're like a trap for the female wasp. She goes yeah. in, she pollinates, but she's entombed. Dr Ilkner Kasulu examines the crucial role of wasps in the ripening of figs. Hi there. Hello, Merhaba. Hi. You must be the wasp expert. <laughs> Great. Now, I brought my fig here. 
I want to find out exactly what the little wasps are getting up to and how are they making the figs that we eat. Ee, şurada gördüğünüz buradan çıkan ve dölleme işini yapan Aa. dişi sinekler. Döllenmiş dişi sinekler. Görüyorsunuz buradan çıkarken polenleri içerisine vücudunun her tarafına. All that stuff there is the pollen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So tell me when I eat my fig is there any dead wasp left inside it? Ve meyvenin içerisinde çok kuvvetli enzimler var. O enzimlerde meyve büyüdükçe e, hasada kadar o sineğin erimesine sebep oluyor. So in a way there is a tiny wasp but because it happens when the fig is very small and as the fig grows the wasp just gets absorbed so you don't really notice it. So when you bite into a deliciously ripe foreign fig it's going to be a female. There may be a little wisp of wasp but you won't be biting into anything crunchy.